This is a video on uh, how I can uh, start PyFlow for FreeCAD from scratch. And what we want to get at the end is a scene where we have a box and a tracker and we can use the tracker to change the size of the box this way. That means when I move the tracker up in Z direction, the width of the box changes. Um, okay, we have the solution here. Uh, with this icon, I can get the screen of the pie flow uh, scene. And we see here we have a tracker, uh, which we can track in the 3D scene. We use from the tracker the point, uh, the Z coordinate of the point, we uh, calculate the absolute value of the Z uh, coordinate, we add some float and we give this data to the FreeCAD box width parameter and we have a connection between the tracker and the uh, box. That means when uh, the tracker is changed, the box is recalculated. So this is the scene. We go back to the FreeCAD screen with this icon here. So we are here on the top and we can clear the graph that means now it is empty and we close the file. So, and we can start a new environment. So the first thing what we are doing is we create a new document and we go to Byflow. And now we add uh, here in the node box uh, first the cat object box. So I type in box and to get the box, I also can say what are the primitives. And we see there are some primitive objects. Primitive objects are such objects uh, which create a shape but do not depend on a shape. So, and first thing is we use the box and I track the box uh, from the node uh, box to the scene. And I, I have it and I have here the parameters. Uh, so, when I calculate the box, nothing happens. That means I only have the shape of the box here inside of PyFlow. To display uh, the shape, uh, I use this method here, preview of a node. And now the node is displayed here. And I can now change the parameters and the preview is updated. And once more, I can hide the preview and I can display the preview again. So next step, uh, I now add uh, the tracker. There are two possibilities. I can type in here track in the node box and I can move the, uh, the node into the scene to get a tracker. The other possibility is that I go into the scene, I uh, use the tab key and I get this dialog. And now I can say I want uh, get something like tracker. And now here I have the possibility to click here on a node and get a short description of the node. And yeah, I still I have not written a documentation for the tracker, but now uh, it's clear what it is, and I can move it. Oh, I can track it from here into the scene. So I now have here two trackers. So in this case, I do not need the tracker. There are two possibilities. I can delete the node, but I also can use the method to delete a node uh, using this X here. So this is deleted. And now I have the tracker and uh, we can start the tracker. And in this case, the tracker is displayed here in the scene. And I can look what is the result of the tracker. So I go here to point out and say, watch the value and um, now when I move it, oh, okay, 
I have to hold it on the foreground. So now when I move the tracker, here the value is updated. So I see what happens. The next step is I uh, now connect, I use this value, I hide it again uh, to make it more clear. I need here a method uh, vector. I want to use the vector set coordinate of the vector, so I use this node. I connect the outcome of the tracker with the vector coordinate and the outcome of the vector coordinate I connect with the width of the box. Uh, furthermore, there is a need a link between this out exec of the tracker and the box. So that means when the tracker has an activity, then the box is updated. So, and now we can try it. So I see I change here the coordinates and I have to, what I, I have used, I have the Z coordinate. Uh, okay, let's change the display. Oh, I have used the right uh, view. So I see I change the Z coordinate and the width of the box changes and now I can uh, add more functions. For example, I can say I do not want this uh, the vector coordinate because I have here some problems when I go down. It works a bit and then it does not work. That means uh, if I have a negative coordinate, I get here some error. So uh, I can use here absolute value. And I use the absolute value and put it here between the vector Z coordinate and the, the width. And now uh, we can move it down. And now we have negative Z values and the box becomes larger. Here near the zero it is has minimum size. And if we go to the positive uh, area, we have positive values too. So that's all. Uh, now what we can do, we can now say we want to save our environment. So we have to call save graph. If I call save graph, I create here in the Python uh, in the FreeCAD environment, a PyFlow graph node. And here is the configuration of this scene. And I save it. Okay. And the next step, I clear the graph. I close the environment and I reopen it. So, uh, in this case, I uh, have at the moment an empty graph and now I have to reload the graph from this object, load graph. And now I see the graph is uh, here once more and I can uh, activate the tracker. And when I activate the tracker, uh, the tracker sends a message to the box. The box is recalculated because I had uh, the preview of the box on. I see the changing box. So I do not have any time at load to calculate the box. Uh, I just need a calculation when the tracker starts to dance. And that's the way. So, um, okay. Uh, I can now uh, create uh, also a, a script to describe this scene. So to describe the scene I have here for testing at the moment the method T2 and when I 
execute it I get here a script and here all the calls are uh, to get this environment. I can use it and store it into a file.